Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy d Lloyd. so I am here with a special video, you guys. I'm going to be playing my man Flemlo over there on Flemlo Raps. We're going to be playing the friendly game of NCAA 14. Well, probably not going to be too friendly because we're both very competitive people. But we're going to go ahead and play each other in any way. I'm taking on Oregon. He has Texas A&M. Now, if you don't know who Flemlo is, man, he plays NCAA pretty much all the time. Seven days a week for the most part. He's going to have NCAA videos for you guys. So if you're not already subscribed to him, I know some of you guys are. Go ahead and subscribe to him. I'm going to have the link to his channel in the comment section below. But like I was saying, he got Texas A&M. You see early on a fourth to one. He ends up going for it with the quarterback sneak. He gets the first down. And we're trying to come up with a stop early on right here. He's going to keep it with the quarterback. And look at this. We cannot get him as Kyle Allen is going to pick up the first down. Now the very next play, they go with a halfback screen. And look at this hit. We're going to lay on the running back. We're able to pick up the fumble. We will stop their drive there. We will start at about the 35-yard line. Right here we go with a play fake. We're going to roll out, try to throw it across your body. And you know that is a no-no. This one will be picked off. And look at this. He is going to end up taking this one to the crib for a touchdown. We were unable to catch him. And now we are down 7 to nothing early on in this ball game. We forced a turnover. Then we turn the football right back over. But we do get right back on offense trying to at least tie this game back up. And right away we get brought down for a sack. So we are looking at a third and 13. Johnson is in shocking once again. And right away we're going to find our running back on the seam route down the middle of the field. That will be a gain of 21. That will move the chains for the Oregon Ducks. But right here we're going to look down the middle. This football will fall incomplete. Great defense by Flemlo on that play. Right here we go with a play fake. We're lobbing this one up deep down the field. And this one is almost caught off of the deflection. But we're unable to reel it in. We are one for four to start off this ball game. Then right here we look to throw it. And we will throw our second interception out of the game of the quarter. So we're looking extremely sloppy here on offense. And look at my man Flemlo with the double juke. He's going to get me out here just looking silly. He picks up a first down on that play. Now the next play, they hand it off to the running back again. He's going to spin past the defender. Then he will be brought down after a gain of five yards. Now after a no huddle, he's going to change up the play a little bit with a couple of hot routes. And it will pay off as he's able to find his receiver down low. That will be a first down. Now a couple of plays later, it is third and three. Flemlo's lobbing this one into the end zone. This one would be caught for a touchdown. This is going to sound crazy because I play NCAA, but I'm used to playing Madden. I did not know what the deflection button was early in this ball game, so he was able to catch that pretty much without any type of challenge on my behalf. But we're down 14 to nothing. We need to come up with a big play right here. We run the halfback screen. We're able to pick up a first down. Now, I know I am composed. I'm used to these comebacks. If you guys watch my channel and you guys watch my videos, you know I am... I come, I come back all the time. So I'm trying to come back in this matchup. It is 14 to nothing. It is not looking very good. But we're making a great drive right here. As we find Jalen Brown, that is going to be a first down. Then the very next play, we're going to hand it off to Freeman. He's going to take this one up the middle for a gain of 15 yards. So that is a first down there. Two plays later, it is second to four. We hand it off to him again. He picks up another first down. So it is first and goal. We're trying to punch this one in. But look at this handoff. Goes absolutely nowhere. We end up losing three yards. Second and goal. I'm trying to throw this to my receiver in the back in the end zone. We throw our third interception of the first half. And he's actually going to take this one down the field to about the 28 yard line. So now we need to play defense. We do not want to go down 21 nothing here in the first half. So he's going to find his receiver who makes that reception. We're able to actually bring him down at the 45 yard line. 118 remains in the first half. He is dropping back. He cannot find an open receiver and we come up with a sack on third down. So we finally stop him. Have to force a punt. Now we got one minute to try to get some type of points on the board before halftime. So Johnson's going to roll out to his left. He will keep this one himself and he will cross midfield with that 17 yard run. Now 53 seconds remains in the second half. Again, he handed off to Freeman. He will end up getting a gain of eight on that play. Now it is the very next play. We hand it off to him again and this time he will end up losing four yards on the carry. So it is third and six now for the Ducks. This is Johnson rolling out to his right. I'm trying to keep my eyes down the field and we will end up completing this one to the receiver and we are now inside of the red zone. But now it is 14 seconds remaining. We're looking to our left and I don't know what Flemlo was doing right there but we are going to take it. That is going to be a touchdown. Our first touchdown of the game. 
that sends us to halftime. But we do get the football first here in the third quarter. And right away, Freeman is going to find a hole. He's going to hit it, and that is going to be a first down. Now the very next play, we're going to throw this one to our slot receiver. He makes that reception. Now it is second and five. Johnson is looking on the slant route. We're able to connect. That is going to move the chains. We are now in Texas A&M territory. But look at this. He's going to send the pressure. We're going to be able to throw it over the top. And this one will be a touchdown. So just like that, this game is all tied up at 14 apiece. Now we need to come up with a stop. We have the momentum. We need to keep this momentum going. We're able to stop the quarterback for a loss of four on that play. Right here, Flemlo drops back. And he's able to connect to his receiver on the dig route. So now it is third and one. We need to play some defense. He hands it off to his running back. And he's going to pick up that first down. So now it is second and 11 two plays. Later, Flemlo is going to find his receiver on the curl route. That will be another first down on this possession. Now, after going no huddle, Flemlo drops back. He's launching this one deep down the field. And it will be caught once again. This time, they're going to take this one down to about the six-yard line. Then right here, the handoff to the running back. He's going to take this one just inches shy of that first down marker. Second to go, the handoff to the fullback. We're able to stop it as we're pretty much running committing at this point. We need to come up with a play to go with a QB sneak. We stop it again. Fourth and goal. He decides to go no huddle. This is a huge play. Only 30 seconds remaining in this third quarter. We need to come up with a stop. You know they're going to hand it off up the middle or try to go with a QB sneak. So he lines up in the goal line formation. He decides to go with the QB sneak, and we are actually going to stop it. So we get the football turnover on down. But now we are inside of our own end zone. We need to get out of this end zone. We're going to hand it off to our fullback. He gets a gain of two. That helps us out a little bit right here. He's going to bring the pressure. We find our receiver, but he cannot hold on to the football. A huge drop. We definitely did not need that on this point. But right here, it is third down. We find our receiver again, but he drops the football as well. So two back-to-back -back drops. We have to punt it. There's now four minutes to go in this ball game, and Flemlo has the ball in great field position. He gets that handoff for a gain of nine yards. Now the next play, they go right back to him. He's going to find a huge hole. He's going to end up weaving his way to about the 15-yard line. Now the very next play, they hand it off to his running back yet again. This time, he picks up a gain of six on that play. Second of four, we definitely need to come up with a huge play right here, but Flemlo is going to find his way into the end zone for a touchdown. So he goes up 21-14. to 3.30 now remains in this ball game. We need to score on this possession. Johnson's going to roll out to his right. He will end up picking up a first down, and then we will run out of bounds safely. Now two plays later, it is second and nine. Hand it off to Freeman. He will take this one for a nice gain of about six yards. Third and three now. We need to come up with a first down, and we're able to convert on third down. We are now in Flemlo territory. So now we need to come up with a big time play. We're going to find our receiver. He breaks out of one tackle. Then he will take this one down to the 26 yard line. The very next play we come out in the empty formation. We decide to run this one with our quarterback and we slide down safely inches short of the first down marker. 120 now remains in this ball game. We find Freeman. He picks up a first down. The very next play we drop back. The pressure is coming. We find our man on the quick out route. He hits the double juke and he goes down to the two yard line. So now first and goal, we need to punch this one in there. We end up throwing this one to our running back and he is in there for a touchdown. This game is tied up at 21 apiece, 50 seconds remains. We need to play defense and try to get this game to go into overtime. But right away, Flemlo is gonna find his receiver down the middle of the field. That will be a first down. Now the very next play, he's going to throw it on the quick out route. This one will be considered an incomplete pass. So now second and 10, he drops back. He is throwing this one deep down the field. We're going to use it. This defender come up with the interception finally. We get a key block down the field as well. And then we will end up being brought down at about the 50-yard line. So a huge turnover. And this could have possibly lost the game for Flemlo. But we need to capitalize. We see our quarterback. He will end up stepping up in the pocket, taking off. He gets a very nice run that sets us up for this quick out route right here where we get inside of the 30-yard line with that play. So now 10 seconds remaining in the ball game. We're going to hand it off to our running back, try to get closer to the middle of the field. It does not work. We go ahead, use our final timeout. Now with three seconds remaining, we have to make this kick. This kick is up. It is straight down the middle, and we have enough power, and that is going to be the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. We come back from 14 down, end up beating my man Flemlo 24 221 a fantastic matchup you guys and if you guys enjoyed this gameplay definitely go ahead and leave this video likes so we can bring more of this to you if you guys like 
Also, my man Flimmo, like I said earlier, if you're not following him, please go ahead and look out, look at his channel. You probably gonna see something you like. If you do, please go ahead and subscribe to him as well. And that's pretty much it, you guys. We come through with a clutch win, a very good get win, man. He gave me a tough game, but we came back. And a very exciting game, guys. I definitely hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and leave it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.